Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I package my drawings and make them ready for shipping. And I'm going to demonstrate that with these horses which are sold so I have to ship them out of the country. And yeah, I'm going to package them now and I hope you'll find it helpful. Um, this was a much requested subject so um, yeah, I thought I'd make a video about it and let's get started. So what I first do is to cut a piece of cardboard um, to be just the right size for the drawing. And this is an A4 size drawing so it has to fit in an A4 envelope. And I just cut the cardboard with a sharp knife and a ruler and I make it slightly larger than the drawing though so there is some space left around the edges and this will make sure that the edges of the drawing won't get bent or damaged uh, during the packaging and during the shipping and this cardboard I save up from when I order um, materials or other things online that usually comes in cardboard boxes so I save up those boxes and I use the cardboard to ship my own drawings with so I just cut that out it's very thick cardboard so this will make sure the drying won't get bent. And now I just clean up the edges a little bit to make it look very clean. So I'm not saying that this method is the best or the only way to package your drawings but it has been working really well for me and my drawings have always arrived undamaged and um, just right how I packaged it so it seems to work. So now when I place the drawing on top of the cardboard you can see that it is exactly the right size but just a slightly a bit larger. And now the next step is to take my transparent plastic foil and I'm going to wrap the drawing and the cardboard in the foil just to keep everything in place. Also, I don't fixate my drawings, so I just make sure to handle the drawings very carefully. So what I do now is I get my cardboard and the drawing on top and I flip it upside down and I place it onto the foil upside down and this I do so that the folds and the tape are hidden on the back and the front of the package will look very clean and neat and I package this quite firmly so that the drying won't be able to move within the the, the plastic cardboard package. So now the basics are basically done. And now you can decorate it however you want. I usually put 
a ribbon around it to make it look a bit more festive. And I also usually put my business card into the envelope or a little thank you note or both. I always really like to put a lot of time into the packaging. Also the envelopes I use are with bubble wrap on the inside so that the package will remain extra safe. What you can also do is to put another piece of cardboard on top of the drying but I don't find that really necessary. I sometimes do that when the drying has to travel all over the world. But for this one I thought it wasn't necessary. And that basically wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something. Let me know if you find it helpful. Any suggestions for new videos are also welcome, of course. Um, don't forget to follow my social media sites. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And then I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!